Hey, everybody. We're back. Random Rules, episode four. Uh, we're here today with Shunken from Los Angeles. Uh, this is an exciting episode, I think. Shunken, Marina from Shunken, is the first uh, artist we've featured that neither Justin or myself knew beforehand. So that's very cool. Um, more about that later. We have some videos from the high curbs and waking up now. And to kick it off, here is Shunken with Bloody Winter. Let's go. The corners of my lips are spinning in two. Maybe they're just eager to be with you. Perhaps I haven't drink all of the melted snow. Let's run into a where our bodies flow. Pockets next to pine cones in the street. Car parts turn to pieces. I'm not. Nice. I fucking love your man. <laughs> hey, Marina. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I am good. Oh. I believe Justin is too. 
<laughs> um, that was so sick. So, uh, yeah, man, I we started this platform to try and help kind of people discover bands. You know, it's sort of in a weird way, mm-hmm. the old fashioned way. Even though we're talking about live streaming here, like um, in this COVID world we live in, we're missing the venues that have been tastemakers for our scene for 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 so long and uh tried to kind of build a little community online based around the same concept and this is a big milestone to have like someone we've not met before and to have truly discovered a dope new band through this so thanks a lot for joining us yeah of course thank you for having me um i'm i'm thrilled that something like this exists because um I've had similar ideas, but couldn't really do the execution. I think you guys have executed it really well. And um, it does remind me of like some sort of MTV kind of 90s TV show where it like clips and have bands, um, something that doesn't really exist all too much right now. So it, it excites right. me for sure. So thank you. Even un- <laughs> unfortunately, on TV and stuff, like there really isn't a whole lot of, of shows like this today. And you know, yeah. hopefully we, we, we plant a flag in the ground and people do other ones and make more of this kind of shit because, you know, losing all of the music from MTV, I, I think, was, you know, really awful. Even though it was like, you know, a lot of it was super mainstream, there was a whole bent of uh, alternative music that was nice to see on there and, you know, discover, especially as a young person, and dive into those influences and dig deeper into into the whole thing. And, yeah, I mean, right. I don't know today today what kids are doing but (laughs) what are they doing i don't know (laughs) we're trying to recreate the fucking 90s here so enjoy i know the answer it's tiktok tiktok (laughs) is like so hot right now (laughs) everyone's telling me to go on i don't want to (laughs) i haven't checked it out yet i do i'm a music marketer by day and i haven't looked at tiktok yet which probably means i'm not very good at what i do but it's like (laughs) A wild little world that I'm kind of nervous to like dive into, you know. Absolutely, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm, I'm just getting on. Like, I'm still in Instagram world, so that's, that's where I'll be. <laughs> yeah, totally. You're in Los Angeles in the real world, right? Yeah, I am in Los Angeles. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. We do have a wonderful scene when it is active. Um. And and so it is like kind of crazy that this is all happening, but um, this this just kind of makes it feel a little bit more normal. So that's it's very cool because LA is a very eclectic city with a lot of great music. Yeah, totally. Are you from LA? I am. I'm from Santa Clarita, which is like I don't know if you, they shot a lot of things there, like weeds or Santa Clarita diet. It's always it's it's kind of like suburbia in a nutshell um and cool. it's little boxes it's, uh, uh... it's exactly that's that's all santa clarita so um it's it's nice to be out and in the city <laughs> that's cool um well do you want to play a couple songs for us yeah totally sweet so, uh... well, we're gonna cut cool, the we'll leave you to it and uh <laughs> And enjoy. So thanks. Thank you. Hopefully you guys can hear everything. Hi, I'm Shun Khan, and thank you for listening. (laughs) This first song is called American Life. Thank you. 
Thanks so much. Hopefully it sounds okay. Um, I wrote that song in New Zealand a couple years ago, probably more than a couple years ago, um, romanticizing the American life, which seems so silly now. <laughs> but at the time, I missed a lot of silly things. So this next song is called Smokey Robinson. A lot of this album, Cumberland Falls, that these songs are off of are about kind of that American experience, Midwest, um, so I hope you like it. Out in the Midwest, it's been cold, six feet under, I feel every inch of heat that's come off my feet on the asphalt highway to my father's grave said I, I could disappear last night. What am I to lose if I have nothing to Voices to the mind I'm calling out to you. Away from my pills, you feel the same. Smoky robins in the flames. Fireworks and chimney smoke. The 17 is about to go. From my pills, you feel the Plastic bags in the neighbor's fridge. Nobody has noticed that I haven't been outside. Stalking my neighbors with the kids that I described. interesting playing the acoustic versions of these there's lots of guitars in the band typically so thank you i hope you enjoyed those couple songs <laughs> that sounded awesome how many guitars first question after you said that i love <laughs> like big guitar bands oh yeah um there's three right now <laughs> i started out with three um i i love to pile it on i, I my first ep was kind of more shoegazy and like i just i love that wall of wall of noise so um yeah it's kind of interesting to put it in a like a stripped down version but i think it's it's just different so um yeah <laughs> it sounded great yeah it sounded good i saw uh i saw okay, andrew cool. wk once and he had four guitars <laughs> and oh, goals, they were goals. all like <laughs> these massive like beefy dudes one of them was dressed in like <laughs> like a kind of like um like a fishnet vest and it was he was like fully camouflaged and he was just like so jacked and it was like the coolest thing just like these enormous dudes playing these chunky guitars and there's four of them it was it was very cool 
that is that is amazing and i wish i could i wish i could get there not not now i think we're all kind of just like quiet quiet people <laughs> so i yeah. don't know we we make it up with the with the noise i guess for sure i aged out of andrew <laughs> wk i think that's fair <laughs> That reminds me of a certain time in my life, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, we didn't talk to you about the video we played, which was so rad. Like, what's the story with that? Oh, Where thanks. was it filmed and, and all that jazz? Sure. So um, it was filmed in uh, Vasquez Rocks, which is kind of where, uh, like, old Star Trek was filmed. Um, it's 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 a quick drive from my hometown. And so uh, I was actually using a, a new, I guess, new for me um, VHS camera that I had gotten. And um, the battery uh, totally quit on us that day. And so we had to plug it in directly into my car and, like, park as close to the edge as possible um, and film it that way, uh, hoping that it would record something onto tape. Um, so luckily, it was uh, quite a process to get that footage. But um, I, yeah, it was fun. It, it was just a really hot day in the desert. And uh, yeah, I liked how it turned out. It's it's kind of goofy. That's my bass player, who's the alien guy. So it was fun. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it looked fun. It, uh, and I totally recognize it from Star Trek now. I can like imagine, <laughs> I'm not even a Trekkie, but I can think of like a few episodes I've caught where I totally recognize it. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah there's like a couple scenes with like a green monster or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's like ripe in the front of my memory right now. Have you been playing with your band for a long time? Are you guys like old friends or what's the story there? Yeah, um, so I started as like a solo project and then I was in New Zealand and I got my boyfriend at the time and his friends to be in the band and we had to form a band really quickly because we were picked up for like a new artist showcase in Auckland, which is the capital and it was just way, way too much for me at the time as far as like setup. I was really just, I was not a gearhead at all, especially then and so um, it was kind of crazy and so I've been through a lot of band members as I've kind of moved and stuff but now it's um, my best friend Reese who actually uh, flew to New Zealand as well and we got to like uh, be in a band and play music together um, and he's my boyfriend now uh, I have uh, a lot of really a couple other um, players in the band that are just really making I think the newer music coming up uh, that much better so I'm, I'm very excited um and yeah i'm always just uh yeah trying to uh figure out what's next i guess <laughs> but um I, i'm really happy with our lineup now so yeah yeah that's cool i mean everything sounds so good like like i started with like i i'm learning about your band through this as well and uh, i've totally gone down the rabbit hole to to all the listeners we have um shunkan is on Bandcamp. Um, am I right? It's shunkan.bandcamp.com? Yeah, and Bandcamp is waiving their fees tomorrow, so that's always an opportune time to support artists that you might like. So, yeah, we got all our merch and music on there. Definitely. Go shop at Bandcamp, but don't start till midnight, because then Marina makes yeah. more. <laughs> true. It's very true. Uh, <laughs> Justin, do you want to introduce a video or say anything else here? Oh, I can't hear you, dude. I think we lost you. <laughs> I'll uh, I gotta I'll let you figure myself. that out. Oh, you're back. You're back. Uh, <laughs> just, I'm trying not to make sound anymore, like on keyboards and shit as I'm doing, you know, the production by muting myself, but then I have to remember to unmute it. But yeah, so... <laughs> We've got a great video for you by The High Curbs, also from Los Angeles. The video is called Brutus. Looks like a fun time. Um, let's watch it. Sweet. Oh, hey, guys.
These guys are coming all fucking Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. So good. High curb. So good. From Los Angeles. I saw an Elysian really Super Fuzz that. in there, which is a delicious beer I've had before. Which reminds me, I was thinking this week, I want to like talk about beer a bit more so we can maybe get a sponsorship for some free beer, Justin. <laughs> That's a good idea. We got to think about sponsors, you know. I mean, right. if it's beer or whatever the fuck, microphones, beer, um, green screens. We could do some green screen work, you know. That would be dope. Yeah, like broadcast yeah. from like fake fake Hawaii or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, companies out there with deep pockets, reach the fuck out because you know we want to talk to you. Do it. Truth. Uh, where are we on our show notes? What's next? Oh, highcurbs.bandcamp.com. Buy their shit. That's our show note right here. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow. Buy their, shit, to, buy their shit tomorrow. <laughs> buy their true. shit tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> um, there's a ton of good Bandcamp stuff happening tomorrow, actually. Um, I want to, can I take a split second to shout out Kill Rockstars? um oh, yeah. jealous butcher Ooh. records we've played videos by both labels they're good people and they are doing a sale tomorrow i guess Bandcamp waives their fee and they are passing those sales those uh discounts savings onto the consumer as well as like waiving their share of the kind of artist deals they have so not only will the artists be making a whole bunch more money tomorrow but 
consumers will also be saving money. So check out killrockstars.bandcamp.com, jealousbutcher.bandcamp.com. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, Marina, do you want to play a couple more songs? Sure, yeah, I got a couple songs here. Um, oh. So this next one, or this first one, I should say, of the second set, um, is called Chemtrails. And it's about whether you believe in the conspiracy theories or not. I know the government just released officially some UFO files, so that's pretty tight. Um, but yeah, <laughs> here it goes. Sunset goes as they're calling drills. I count the days and I know you so I know it's not to fail. Hold your feelings full of guilt and let your family know you're fine. And my days begin to fade and my friends just to your place right on the floor where the smoke begins to build. I'm made of secret codes and dead end roads so that you is can still hold your feelings full of guilt and let your family know you're fine. Then my days begin to fade and my brain starts to whine. I know that you're lonely song off of my first record, The Pink Noise. It's called Paleontologist, and I believe this will be my final song, so thanks so much guys for having me. Gone away. 
least here is my biggest fear When it's so loud you can't hear a sound awesome yeah thank you Yay. so <laughs> i'm curious like what artists out there would you like to collaborate with if you could like pick anyone in the oh. world i don't care if it's like fucking i don't know like the most famous person or the least famous person or whatever just yeah. like who who would you want to do a song with or like contribute to, to what they're doing or something yeah, I think oh, my favorite band in the world is Pavement. It has been for a really like a while now, <laughs> um, probably like five years or so. Um, they're just my all time favorite band. I'd love to work with them. I'd love to work with Jay Mascus. I don't know. Um, and there's just like a lot of I have a lot of really talented friends. Um, uh, there's a couple groups like phaser days i've always wanted to work with and she's really nice and wonderful um i got to open first your baby girl and i'd love to work with her too um so yeah there's i think there's a mixed bag there but um if i could jump That's back quite in a, time it's a broad make... range <laughs> it is yeah uh but i think my core is always like fuzzy 90s bands um Sebado or dinosaur junior pavement um those are always kind of my my core so, oh, and I'd say Alex G. Alex G is like top tier. <laughs> yeah, we had totally Mark Schwaber agree. on last week, who's like kind of part of the the scene that birthed Dinosaur and and that kind of era. So oh. maybe we can link you up with with someone involved with that. That'd be super dope. If Please could, do. <laughs> if, if we could be matchmakers in that sense. That would oh, be like, yes. You know, the show takes um, a turn. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I can't make any promises, but, you know, maybe if they're generous <laughs> enough, we can make something happen. I mean, that'd be super dope. Hey, I'm always open for opportunities. So, yeah. But uh, apart from music, I know, like, we're all trapped in our fucking houses and we, we listen to music all day long. But sometimes we want to just, you know watch something like watch videos you know and be distracted by that kind of thing i'll just tell you from yeah. my side I, i've been watching a lot of homestead rescue i'm not sure if you're familiar with this wow. program uh, 
that sounds really familiar. <laughs> it's like, like what this is program that? where there's this Alaskan like fucking logger dude, like who's like used oh, to okay. he's used to like living on the land by himself in his whole like family compound where they do everything themselves. And the idea is rescue. Like he uses his knowledge and his family's knowledge to go to other places and like unfuck them. So like people will like have a home. <laughs> they'll have a homestead that they bought in the middle of the fucking desert, and they'll have no water. They'll have no food. They'll have like fucking nothing. And then this this guy and his like fucking kids will come in and try and teach him how to hunt, teach him how to like get water. Teach them, basically teach them how to actually live <laughs> off the land because they bought this stuff and they're like, uh, we're dying. Help us. You know? Wow, that's but, intense. But but that's that's really what I've gotten into. But what what have you gotten into since the world turned like completely like fucked? Right. Um, okay, so I binge a lot of Mr. Show and Better Call Saul was my show kind of simultaneously, so I got to see like Bob Oden Kirk. And one phase of his life and then another um kind of back to back <laughs> yeah, that, <that's> um, <laughs> he's like my 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 crush it's weird but yeah he's like that's the, he's like my fave yeah. nice. oh yeah uh definitely um but i've just been playing a ton of animal crossing like pretty much everybody i'm sure but oh. um yeah that's of course there's reality tv i never really got into tiger king but other than that um yeah, those are my, my go-tos right now. Nice. What are Tiger King was fucking wild. I watched it. <laughs> I saw the King. first episode. I'm not sure if I made it to the end, but that was wild. Yeah. I, I mean... My roommate was into it, so I kind of caught it peripherally, and I caught enough of it to like get it. You know, I knew what was going on, and right. fucking hell, like what a wild world. <laughs> I mean, I wish I had the lack of self-criticism that the Tiger King has. Like, if I could live in that oh, presence wow. of just being the Tiger King and not not put any <laughs> scru- not put any scrutiny on what I'm doing, like I would just, you know, I guess I would feel better about life. You know, I think he must be living his best Tiger King life. You know, so yeah, go Tiger definitely. King. No, no anxiety there whatsoever. Seems like great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, balls to the wall confidence. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll I'll take some of that. So when when this <laughs> whole world starts actually working again, um, what do you look forward to the most? Like, what is it that like the first thing? Like, if the the government says like, hey, we're not going to trap you in your house anymore, and you can like leave the house and do one thing. Like, what's what's the one thing that you're like really itching to do that you can't do? Oh man, uh, yeah. There's a couple I just think about. I I love thrifting. Um, and man, those are sometimes the the dirtiest spots to be in. But that's that's like an activity <laughs> I like to do. Um, and yeah, I also do like no a doubt. lot of um, yeah. And I do a lot of like free listing hunting. It's like it's kind of odd, but I'll like I used to scour like Craigslist free listings for like when people died and they had a shit ton of stuff from their house and they're just like take it and I, I found so many things for free or if they're moving or something. I'm just really cheap is what I'm basically saying. So there's really like, not hoarding, right? Like there's, there, there's no, no like, dead, <laughs> there's no dead cats in your apartment that are like no under, no like a like hundred years I have of a... newspaper or something. No, I have a system where it's like if I take something I gotta I gotta get rid of something and it's so luckily i'm not i'm not there yet but um nice. right now it's it's manageable and this break has certainly slowed things down so i think my roommates are are grateful for that <laughs> sweet well i really love the posters and stuff that you have in your setup there did you get some of that stuff by uh, yeah. uh, thrifting or <laughs> I did. I did. I got these for free. Uh, this one was like, oh, wait, no, this one was like a dead lady's house. I'm assuming. I don't know. But she had like all these like old 80s posters. And I was like, OK, yes, I'm taking those. And then Stripes poster over here was from somebody moving. And yeah, it's kind of absurd now that I think about it. Most of my room is like either some old thing or free. And uh, I'm just a little collector. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's strange, but it's uh i can't do it now so i've been kind of waiting patiently i guess it's a cool look your apartment or your your room there wherever you are is decorated like an old movie store or an old record store or something it looks oh, red yay. 
<laughs> thank you i just put it up i just i literally just put this up for videos because i i knew live streams would be happening and whatnot so i was like i'm gonna put all my shit on one wall and then make it like a thing so <laughs> i'm glad you i didn't do that, that I, vibe too. I feel like i have this like ray lamontaine poster here and i <laughs> keep i you gotta hear me out now i keep thinking that the crop of the screen is gonna be like here so no one will see it and then it's in the shot still so i want to say i've never listened to ray lamontaine but i really like the guy that made the poster both of these are from the same yeah. printmaker so uh oh, okay shout out they're nice shout out to that guy but not necessarily to Ray <laughs> LaMontagne. That's fair. Those are nice looking posters. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> it's, it's a dope poster. It's like a snake wrapped around like a flower thing. I think my internet's like getting fuzzy right now. But Oh, I see. Oh, it yeah. yeah. Now we got it. It's nice. Kind of see. It's Seems a good like poster. a tattoo from here, you know, maybe tattoo-ish. Yeah, yeah totally. No one totally. Would know. Charlie Wages. Look up Charlie Wages online. If you ever need prints, Shunkan, you look up Charlie Wages. Oh. If he ever sees this, oh, yeah. he'll probably be hella surprised that I'm repping him right now. <laughs> 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 so I guess this is the point in time where we say, like, we, we kind of give the opportunity to our guests to, to shout out the projects that you're working on and the places where people can buy your shit and, you know, like you know direct the people watching this to to your stuff you know what, what's going on for sure um so yeah like we talked about before everything's on bandcamp so it's shunkan.bandcamp.com and i think the most activity we have is on spotify so look up shunkan s-h-u-n-k-a-n i know it's kind of tricky but it's it's japanese that's why it's always kind of hard to, <laughs> hard to say but um yeah so all of that is there uh working on a new ep we're trying to record in quarantine um yeah I, I like recorded uh or wrote like songs for 25 days straight and so like i'm gonna put a little video of that together um another quarantine activity i'm working on a music video uh for one of the songs off of the last album and people are like submitting videos of them singing like a line or two um so i'm trying to keep busy <laughs> um because otherwise i will just fall into like a hardcore like depressive hole or something so um yeah there's lots to lots to look forward to so just i guess follow me on all the socials at i am shunkan and uh you'll see everything there dope 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 so i have a question for you before we get into our last video and we sign off for today um what does the word packy mean to you like have you ever heard this word? And what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear this word? Because it's a very regional word, um, I think. But, but I'm just uh, curious, like, what do a, you associate? Is that like a person who likes the Packers? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking don't really know. I don't know. I think they call them cheeseheads. I'm not an NFL guy, but yeah. you know, I, I'm pretty sure the Packers are cheeseheads, the fans, you know? Oh yeah, what is, what is what sports? I don't really know. What's that? Justin, Literally do, you know. what it, do, you, do you know what it means, Justin? Well, I fucking hope so. I lived in Massachusetts for like five years. A packy is a place where you buy liquor. Really? Oh man. Oh, I've I never heard that's that. what they're referring to. I could be wrong. They're fucking Canadians. I thought you would know, Adam. Aren't they from Toronto? No, they're not. They're they're from. They're from uh, Connecticut, so you're probably right. Oh, like right oh well, no, no doubt. If they're from New England, yeah, in New England, you call a fucking liquor store a packy. <laughs> that explains Unreal. so much Unreal. because, uh, yeah, like the, there's drinking in the video, and it, it kind of adds it starts, up now. Like when the you... fucking video starts out at a packy. You know, it literally starts out <laughs> at a packy. You're going to watch it. You're going to love it. It starts out at a packy. I love the term packy. And since I moved from New England and I moved out of Massachusetts, I've never heard the term. But I have to say that, you know, it's near and dear to me to, to hear this again. And so uh, let's let's listen to uh, Waking Up Now with the song Packy to send us out. Thanks again for being here. And thanks, yeah, no Marina. Problem. Thank you for having me. Bye, y'all. Bye, everyone. Thanks a lot.